Meek Mill is sticking beside his main man, Diddy. Meek took to social media and tweeted, I don't believe no Diddy story once they lied about me. Now, y'all are confusing my son. He's 12 with sick with people saying his dad gay. It's sick. He wanted, went on to say, I'm not a part of the freak or a coke part of the industry. Do you believe Meek's story? And do you think the rumors that Diddy Meek were intimate are just made up? Armand, what do you think about these rumors? I have to stand with Meek Mill on this. I totally, I totally support him and I get it. And if I was in his shoes, I would say the same thing. And I see people on social media saying, well, he should have just kept quiet. He shouldn't have said anything. I feel like in this situation, he would have been damned if he did and damned if he didn't. So I'd rather speak out because people are still talking about how Usher isn't saying anything. And when you're quiet, you're assuming guilt, you know, and people are just going to assume that it happened. So I feel like in any other situation, we would have said, if it wasn't you, you should come out and say, did he ain't do this to me? This didn't happen, so I feel like we should support Meek Mill for being one of the only people saying, I wasn't laying her up with Diddy. Diddy didn't take advantage of me. And I think that it's also come to be said to the fact that, hey, I don't need my 12-year-old son coming to me saying, hey, daddy, they're saying that you're gay on the internet. Are you gay? So I, I stand with Meek Mill on that because he's like, well, if y'all gonna lie on me and I'm not doing it, and I'm screaming out that I didn't do it, and you guys are using it against me, then I don't believe none of this because I know he didn't touch me. So I can't be mad I, at the man. I always thought it was weird when people would troll people that defend themselves. Like if you get accused of something that you didn't do, shouldn't you say, uh, guys, it's not true. Al, what do you think about this? Well, you know, as a brand strategist, I am always very clear in the verbiage that's used. And if production can put that quote back up, I'll help you break it down just a little bit. For me, <clears throat> the young man, Rodney Jones, said that it was a Philadelphia rapper. Noah, and they alluded to a lot of people, the only one that really pushed back and said anything was... Meek Mill. So for me, that's kind of a, a hit dog hollering. But look at the second sentence there, if you can put that back production. Anybody try to sexually assault me, it will be a bang out on the spot. What was interesting about this to me was he never said he never had sexual relations. He said he was not sexually <laughs> assaulted. That's what another that I thought was interesting. And then the other thing that I thought he said that was interesting was about the freak or coke part of the industry. There are so many other parts of the industry like ecstasy, like ketamine. There's so many other things that you could be in relations and doing and alcohol that you could be doing with Diddy and not just coke and freak sessions. I think it's very clear that if you did not have any type of sexual relations with someone, you would say, I had no sexual relations of any type with this man, and I did no types of drugs or alcohol with him. That, to me, is a true dealing with the rumors. All this other plan with words, to me, leaves it open for suspect, and that's exactly what people are doing. Well, to be Fair. His writing and tweets have never really been that clear or concise on social media. I don't know if you ever see that. Uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, it just, you just if you just put like a couple more words in there, like the sentence would be mm -hmm. complete and we would actually feel what you're saying. We have a few comments here. Uh, Yaya502 said, Meek Mills is the epitome of down low. He's fighting like Boosie. Okay, Unique Goddess said, what straight man lets another man call him daddy? Oh, it's true. <laughs> Also, I don't care if I don't know how to complete a sentence or not. If I did not have any sexual relations with the person, I would know how to type that in my tweet. I had no sexual relations or did or partied or did any drugs and alcohol with Diddy. That's easy. That's easy. I That's think he's saying that, though, but I just don't think he's as smart, maybe as you were able to articulate it that way. He did it in his, like, South Philly way. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't messed with that man. You know what I mean? So I think that maybe we're probably looking at it like we're expecting a little bit more. And I don't think he probably has that capacity. But Sleepy ZZZ said them hood Philly bottoms a mess, child. And uh, <laughs> latest, damn, y'all going hard on me. Latest Celebrity News said, nah, they say hit dog will holler. He's merely tweeting and ranting about this and other stuff. Yeah. Ever since giving gills. I'm sorry. You know what, Meek Mills? I, I think you know the show because uh, I've definitely seen, you know, you on social media. Um, we'd like to invite you on TJF and we can clear, clear this up on our platform and offer that to you where you can actually get a clear um, statement out in an interview. I would love to put that out there for you to come on this show and we'll provide a safe space for you to do that. Because, you know, I always quote your rap lyrics all the time. So I'd love to, you know, get you on here. All right.